going on guys, this is Luke. I have a large event happening in about a week. I'll be working with some of the other guys on here. Uh, Aaron Molden's my advanced guy, working with Byron Rogers as well. And it is a large stadium event and we will be dressing in a plain clothes format for that event. It is a SEER level three event. So spent the day at the range today doing a lot of CCW work. I hadn't done a lot of CCW work. I've been really focused on rifle shooting and three gun shooting, getting ready for world shoot coming up here in about a month or so. And uh, needed to really get back out there. Went out with the team, did a lot of great work today. And I just thought I'd share with you guys and kind of show you guys my equipment that I'll be use, utilizing at this event and also some of the things that I do when preparing for an event like this. So when I went to the range today, I took this shirt as well as another shirt made by the same company as the shirts, very similar to the shirts I'll be wearing. I'm not going to wear a pink flamingo shirt to the event for all you haters out there. Uh, hope you have take something away from it and maybe learn about a couple companies out there that make some really great quality equipment and gear. So. I went out today uh, with this shirt the way I usually do it. Um, I'm really one of the only guys I know that does this, but I'll button one of these buttons here and just kind of leave it like this. Um, I am carrying appendix as well as hip. Again, kind of depending on the shirts that I'm wearing. And I'll show you guys both those rigs and one rig worked with one shirt, the other rig worked with the other shirt and that's just the way it was. Uh, pro tip, don't ever go practice appendix. <laughs> with a white t-shirt, but it was about 102 degrees out there today. Had the whole team out there, Addy was out there with us, shot about 600 rounds, and uh, it was a fantastic train up. I felt great, I love my weapons, holsters, everything just felt great, and uh, I'll sit down now and kind of show you guys the gear. Well guys, I just recorded this whole entire thing, but my microphone wasn't turned on. <laughs> so, I'm doing it all over again. My everyday carry is this little package right here. This is a CZ75 Compact. Uh, it was a gift from Mike Pannone. It is a double single action gun with a decocker um, the, and a broken fiber optic, most likely from today, because <laughs> that was there earlier, and now it is not. Um, I'm a huge fiber optic fan because I've shot a lot in the night and I don't believe in night sights, but if you do, then rock night sights. But I'm a fiber optic guy, and um, that's a whole nother video and argument that I'll let Mike Pannone fight that. But uh, he has a much better explanation. I just, my explanation is I don't like it. <laughs> so this is my everyday carry gun. It's on me everywhere I go. I don't carry subcompacts. I can't shoot them, just can't. And I have my reasons for carrying this, and this is what I carry. If you're into small revolvers and baby guns, then you know, Rock on, man. That's all you. Um, this is a black arch holster. I like this holster a lot. I'm usually not a fan of holsters like this, this kind of hybrid design, but this one is snuggly. The retention's fantastic. I love this clip, this style clip. You'll see it in more holsters. And uh, absolutely in love with this holster. It covers everything it needs to, and I can wear it without a t-shirt. Zero problems whatsoever. Extremely comfortable. Great draw, great retention. And um, yeah, so this is my kind of everyday setup. It's with me everywhere I go for the last over two years now. So, uh, and these are Loke grips, palm swell grips. I have fairly small hands, but um, that's why I like a wider grip. Most guys think thinner grips, smaller hands. I disagree actually. Uh, I need as much purchase room as I can get and I'm really able to get my, my palm in here and uh, get a good purchase. And these low grips are nice and tacky and hard. Uh, so that's my primary gun. Uh, when I'm out and about, usually every day, uh, I have this on me and I wear these 511 jeans a lot and a couple pairs of pants I have have them as well. Uh, Triple Lot Designs also has some. Uh, they have a little mag pouch in this back pocket area. I always have a Terran Tactical magazine, or basically a CZ mag with a Terran tactical base pad uh, in my back pocket right there. That is my reload 99% of the time. So, moving on. What am I gonna carry for this event? For this event, I'm gonna carry a new weapon. Again, another gift from my friend Mike Pannone. 
Uh, he gave me this CZ75. It's a P07. Absolutely am in love with this firearm. Uh, it's got Mike's little logo right there on it, so you know it's got a little it's got a little magic dust. Uh, same thing, double single action gun with a ambidextrous decocker. Uh, Cajun Gunworks did the trigger on this, and it has a Boresight Solutions grip job. Um, about what am I at now? Two, ooh, two, 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 so three thousand five, thirty six hundred rounds with this gun now, and zero malfunctions. Absolutely in love with this firearm. I am carrying it in a JM Customs holster that uh, Panon gave me, and kind of did my own. He had like a ri the original clip right here. I sort of drilled some holes down here and put the G-code uh, clip on there. It's because I've always liked this clip. I was a big fan of it off and on, and it doesn't get in the way of my draw, which I was having a problem with the clip that was there before, uh, impeding my draw. Um, so I will be carrying that for two of the nights of the event. Uh, my spare magazine goes right here in this. This is a Safari Land competition uh, mag pouch. I wear it at about 10 to 11 o'clock, uh, just in front of my left hip bone uh, with a slight cant to it, so I'm able to come down. It's got great retention, and I've been doing this for a very long time now. I've been using these mag pouches. I love them. For me, on my body style, that's just a very nice place to conceal um, a pistol mag. And uh, very nice and quick uh, reloads from there. And it's just what I do. It's something I've been doing a long time. Some guys always ask why, and the answer is because it works for me. So uh, that's what I do. That's what I'm doing here with this. Just behind that, I will have my rifle mag pouch. Um, we're utilizing long guns on this, so I'll have a spare rifle pout, rifle mag, uh, just a 30 round P mag in this. This is made by Raven Concealment, and um, it's worked for me for a very long time, and it's been fantastic. Uh, great little mag pouch, retention's held over a long period of time. Uh, next to that on me, I will have my, uh, my little Emerson here. Um, this is an Emerson with the wave opening. I don't know the name of the model, but it has the knife, opens nice and quick out of the pocket, and uh, has a flathead and a Phillips, as well as like a little pick in here also. Um, I broke the flathead, because I've used it so much. I use this way more than I use the knife. <laughs> so this was a wedding gift from my friend Caleb, and I, I love this knife. I've been carrying it pretty much almost every day. Uh, I will either have this on me, or the, uh, this little Gerber multi-tool here has a pretty good knife to it as well. Um, I'll have one of these two on me. This is usually sitting in my bag that I'm wearing with me on the job, uh, and then this will be in my pocket. And just behind that will be my, where is it? Will be my flashlight. Uh, I always carry a Vampire V1 uh, IR light because I do a lot of night vision work, so this is just, Again, it lives in my bag, and it's it's a great little light. Um, so I'll have this in my back pocket, uh, just behind the mag pouch. Basically, the same pocket I use to put a spare mag from time to time, that's where I put this flashlight. Uh, and then I will not have control of the car keys, but pretty much everywhere I go, I always have my truck keys and then my two office keys on me um, on a carabiner. But for this, Aaron will have our car keys we have two guys that have sets of car keys, so uh, that's how that's working. For the last day of the event, I will be wearing either a suit or a sport coat. This kind of works for both, but um, I have a suit by that company. Uh, I forgot the name. <sighs> forgot the name of the company. It's the suits that Byron loves. Uh, they make these awesome, super stretchy kind of tactical suits. It's the best suit I've ever owned, and I own five. Ted Baker's, a Prada, a couple from Gucci, I have an Armani. This is by far the best suit I've ever owned, and I was a huge Ted Baker fan before, but these guys make a fantastic suit. I just forgot the name of them, so sorry. Anyway, I wear a custom leather rig. Yeah, I'm that guy. Right now it has a belt buckle from uh, my friends at SEB. They gave me this cool belt buckle, but um, matches this, this leather real well. 
but this is a Tucker gun leather rig and it is for my 75 compact. Uh, their belt is fantastic, it's so stiff. I believe they weave some, some Kydex in between the two here too. Most leather companies I hate and I've owned everything. The only leather I've ever really liked outside of Tucker was uh, Wilson Combat. I have a whole black uh, shark skin leather rig from Wilson Combat for my 1911. Usually when I go to a black tie event, something like that, I'll bring out my 1911 and wear it because that pistol means a lot to me and I like to bust it out from time to time and wear it. But uh, I've been wearing the snot out of this Tucker gun leather rig. I like it a lot. I wear it with my navy or my gray suits and uh, absolutely love this belt and this whole rig. Uh, this is the mag pouch flashlight combo. Got a little surefire in here and uh, my uh, magazine. Uh, I use one of the compact mags in this. Um, and then this is the the holster. Uh, the holster is fantastic. It's a it's the perfect combination of retention and uh, and ease of draw. The draw is fantastic on it. And they got a lot of really other cool options as well. The price is fantastic and their delivery time was like two weeks. So Tucker Gun Leather, check them out. Uh-oh. There we go, bink, bink, dink, sorry. Uh, so check them out and um, you know, for all your leather goods needs. Tucker Gun Leather, huge fan of these guys, massive fan. I've owned so many leather holsters and they suck. This one does not. So, moving on. Um, oh, just another option. Here's that uh, black shark skin rig from Wilson Combat. Um, their belt sizing's super weird, so make sure you look that up online there, but they make a whole shark skin line that's fantastic. I've got my Ipsic World Shoot belt buckle on there, because, well, because it's an awesome belt buckle. <laughs> so, that'll be for the last night. Um, last, Lastly, um, every once in a while when I travel or uh, get hired for certain jobs, I have to carry a Glock 19. So I'm either taking my Glock 19 or I'm uh, being issued a Glock 19. So here's a couple of my options for the Glock 19. This was my primary carry for quite a while up until about three years ago when I switched over to everything double single. Um, but I still have this Glock 19, I love it. I have the Surefire XC1, uh, great light. Having said that, not a fan of it. I don't think it's enough light. I would honestly rather shoot with one hand and a handheld. And um, I put that video out a while ago, a while ago about uh, shooting a match with a handheld and I, I actually won shooting handheld um, over a bunch of guys who had weapons mounted lights. So it doesn't slow me down that much. Obviously I would rather have an X300 Ultra on here for sure, but to me this is not enough light. It's just not, go out and shoot it for yourself guys. Tell me you can see it 15 yards with this light, uh, especially after firing a couple of rounds, especially if there's a little bit of dust. Um, you, it just doesn't have the power yet. Uh, some of their newer products I don't have experience with yet, but uh, um, the reason I have this on here is because it goes with my favorite holster, which is the G-Code um, Incog. I love this holster. I've had it since it came out. The second it dropped, I bought it, and I've been in love with it ever since. These clips, I've put these clips on so many different holsters, um, but this is my favorite concealment holster I've ever owned. Problem is, G-Code only makes them for like a couple models, so some of my other guns that they, they just don't make a holster for, which is unfortunate and sucks for me. But I'll usually take this with me as well as a couple couple uh, Kydex rigs that I'll show you here. Uh, for your information, my Glock has grip job by Taron Butler as well as his uh, Magwell. And I have the Duke Defense um, RBU with the uh, uh, Loophole Delta Point Pro and little iron sights are built in here, which is great. This is, in my opinion, the best option for Glock, uh, putting a dot on it. I don't like the MOS, uh, and there's other guys out there that know more, way more about this than me. I've just seen way too many dots break on the MOSs. They always are kind of loose. They don't always fit properly, and not all shops are created equal. Not all shops are precision machinists that are, that are, uh, that are mounting these uh, into slides. So this, 
This RBU setup from Duke Defense is a fantastic option. I like it a lot. It's worked great for me and I haven't popped a dot yet with it. So other than that, triggers bone stock and that's it. Yep. So for other holsters I like for the Glock, I have owned all the Kydex holsters and I still stick with holsters I purchased from Raven Concealment. Back before they were Raven, they were called Ghost Holster. And that's when I bought all my stuff from them because I loved this sandwich pancake design that they got here. Um, it's fantastic. Uh, this is a Glock 19 for an XC1. Uh, Glock 19 without a light. This is how I carry it the majority of the time um, outside the waistband is with this. But if I'm wearing a suit, heavy coat, something like that, uh, I will carry it with a X300 Ultra. Um, so I have holsters all for that. Uh, my other magazine pouch is this little jerry-rigged one here. Uh, it is a Raven Concealment double mag pouch, and it's awesome. The retention's still fantastic. And um, other than missing a couple screws, some hardware here, I just zip-tied this at a job uh, overseas recently because uh, the screw popped out and I couldn't get a hold of hardware. So zip-tied it, and it's worked fine. So I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, moving on from there, <laughs> I know we like to talk about knives. For my little Sunday rig, I forgot to mention, this is my little uh, fixed blade knife that I bought for myself. I bought so many friends fixed blade knives, and y'all have never bought me one, because you guys suck. Uh, but this is made from my friend Henry Holland up in Montana. This is this old cowboy that has been making knives in the way of the Japanese for a very long time. He makes a fantastic blade, and uh, these are all all of his handles are off of animals he's killed, which I think is so rad. He had one recently, I wanted to buy it. The whole handle was made out of bare bone. It's like, that's so badass. Uh, he made me a little sheath here for it to match my rig. And uh, I usually wear this at about the five o'clock, just behind my pistol. And conceals great, doesn't bother me. And it's a nice little fixed blade knife. Um, the belt I'll be wearing at the event is this belt, I forgot the name of this belt, slide belt, the slide belt. My friend Caleb bought me this belt and it's fantastic. Uh, perfectly fine for retention. Um, I usually like belts a little stiffer, but for some reason this one's kind of just right. Um, I would not wear this belt with an outside the waistband holster. I would only wear it with uh, an appendix rig. That's just me personally, it's a bit too floppy. I like this, uh, this thicker leather stuff for the outside the waistband stuff. But holding a mag pouch on it, not a problem. Works great. I like being able to adjust it, um, tighten it up, and I believe when he bought this for me, it also came with a nice brown one as well. But I usually just wear this with, uh, you know, with everything, suits, whatever. Just don't fly with it, because it has this little knife blade on the inside of it here. A little knife blade, a little flashlight, and fire starter, all that stuff. So. Do not travel with it on a plane. Made that mistake once. Um, <laughs> and I didn't get caught, but it was, uh, I was on the plane like, oh my gosh. So, uh, just fair warning there. Uh, that's it guys. If you have, oh, um, I will along for the first two days of the event, um, I will carry this little, I don't know what he, this is even called, the Obake. Uh, this is an awesome little knife. It's crazy sharp and I will wear that uh, at like the 11 o'clock or I'm sorry not the the one o'clock sort of right here in front Conceals great. It's nice and thin and I always like having a little fixed blade on me personally I don't always wear them definitely not always but for this event. I will be wearing this um, That's it so Yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, um Go ahead and hit them in the comment section down below. Uh, the bag I carry, I've gone over that in the past. It's this one right here. Um, I did do about 30% of my shooting today with this bag on my back, but this is Aaron Molden's little uh, EP admin bag made by Velocity Systems and Mayflower. And uh, I go multicam because that's like a cool hip color now all of a sudden, which is kind of cool. So it's not, it doesn't scream tactard. But uh, love this bag carry it everywhere with me stateside. It's my everyday bag. I don't travel with it, but um, I do use it, uh, you know, when I'm home. So uh, I'll be wearing this bag on my back the entire time, and my comms will be right here, 
all of our comms are Bluetooth, so I usually, most of our comms are primarily off of Zillow, which is a radio app. Um, and that's Bluetooth with a Bluetooth push to talk, but I also have a Bluetooth push to talk and earpiece for my Hytera radio. Um, but that communication is just for uh, the leads. So my advanced guy, my two primary leads, I'll have direct communication via radio with them if I need it. That also gives us communication with um, all the other people on the premises. So that just sits in the front chest there. Sometimes I throw it in my back pocket uh, depending on how I'm feeling that day. So if you guys have any questions about this stuff, I'm not saying this is the only way, I'm just saying it's my way, it's what's worked for me. Um, if you have questions about a certain product that you're looking at, I've probably owned it or used it or have some kind of experience or I know somebody who does. So uh, feel free to ask away guys and um, if, you, uh, if you need any help at all, uh, go ahead and hit it in the comment section down below. So that's it. God bless you guys. Be good.